Want to create this clean and smooth 3D text animation in After Effects? It's simple, stylish, and gives your titles that extra bit of depth with just a few steps. Let's break it down. Start by creating a new composition. Then add a new solid layer. <clears throat> now head over to Effects and Presets and search for Gradient Ramp. Apply it and adjust the gradient however you like. I'm going with a, a light tone here. It looks nice and clean. Next, add your text, each word as a separate layer. Enable the 3D layer switch for all your text layers and change your workspace to two views. I'm using the top view here. It gives a better idea of how the text layers are positioned in 3D space. Now hide these text layers for a moment. Select your first two text layers and change their Y orientation to 30 degrees so they're slightly tilted towards the left. Step by step, add a new camera and then create a new null object. Parent the camera to the null and don't forget to make the null 3D as well. Now, rotate the null's Y orientation to 30 degrees so the text starts off looking straight. Set a position keyframe on the null at the first frame and adjust its position so the camera is zoomed out a bit. Then move a few frames forward and bring the camera a little closer, just like it's scaling in. Now select the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease, and open up the graph editor. Inside the speed graph, adjust it so the motion starts fast and slows down smoothly. Looks good, right? Time to add that cool typography effect. Open one of the text layers, click on Animate, then choose Opacity. Set the opacity to zero. Now go into Range Selector, add a keyframe for start, move a few frames forward, and change the start value to 100. Select the keyframes, press F9, and again adjust the graph so it eases in nicely. Tweak it to your liking. Looks great already. Now, unhide the second text layer, and let's animate that too. Create a new null, move it to the top, and parent it to the previous null, so everything's connected like a chain. Animate this new null by adjusting the position and timing. Make sure the keyframes overlap slightly with the previous ones. This keeps the motion flowing smoothly. Again, F9 those keyframes and ease them in with the graph editor. Then, repeat the same opacity animation for the second text. Animate it just like before. Add keyframes, set to F9, and adjust the graph. And just like that, we're halfway through the animation. If you're enjoying the process so far, make sure to subscribe for more After Effects tutorials just like that. Now, create a new null and parent it to the previous one. Like a chain, continuing the hierarchy. Unhide the third text layer, adjust its position, and set the Y orientation to negative 30 degrees. This way, the second and third sets of text will have a full 60 degree difference between them. Tweak the position once again to keep the layout balanced. Now, select the new null and add keyframes for both position and orientation. Then, move a few frames forward, set the orientation to 300 degrees, and adjust the position to follow the rotation naturally. Select all keyframes, press F9, and then open up the graph editor. Adjust the orientation graph, and then the position graph, for a smoother and more fluid camera motion. Now apply the typography reveal effect here as well, just like before. Speeding it up a bit, Okay, done. Now for the last one. Unhide the final text layer, adjust its orientation and position, and bring it forward. Then, add a new null, parent it like before, and don't forget to enable 3D. Set keyframes for position, move a few frames ahead, and tweak the values to animate the movement. If you notice the text isn't lining up perfectly, 
Just nudge its position a little for better alignment. And yeah, make any final adjustments needed to make it look seamless. Select the keyframes, hit F9, and adjust the speed graph for a final polish. Let's take a final look. Looks clean, right? Now just export the file with your preferred render settings, and that's it. Hope you found this helpful. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more After Effects content every week. Catch you in the next one.